What's up, everybody? It's time to play Wordle. And yes, it's not clickbait. You must stay till the end of the connection solve, and you're going to find out that art indeed got busted by the New York Times. How that happened, you'll have to stick around to see what happened. And um, yeah, so don't go anywhere. Enjoy these puzzles, and we'll announce what happened at the end of connections. In the meantime, we've got a June 7 Friday Wordle to solve. Uh, we are having super fun with our... Um, uh, color theme that was given to us by Melanie Lee. Uh, Hazel is for today. Okay, let's see how Hazel does. It um, sadly didn't get us the Z. Because uh, if it had, it would have been um, actually made it pretty fun and easy. <coughs> However, we have L. The question is L what? L. El pas. <laughs> that would be super cool. Of course, that wouldn't even make sense, um, but I love Spanish, and um, peace would be pretty cool. So let's not do that, and I really don't think it would begin E-L. So what about Bell? Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. I absolutely love this because, first of all, it's got my favorite letter B, and secondly, we are going to test so many interesting positions. We're not, you know overriding any, but we're going to just test so many interesting positions for the L and the E. So, of course, we do have to ask, since I don't think we've had it yet, did we get Bell in two? We didn't. Um, and we did at least get the EL positioned, and we know that those are the only ELs uh, in the puzzle. Now, this is kind of funny. Um, this is hilarious. Oh, I was about to say, we could have done a word that was like, I think the last final word in our... Um, kind of like travel destinations, but Welch almost fits, but of course uh, we rule out the H from Hazel. So yeah. All right. Um, it's not gonna be relay. I'm looking at the R. Okay, so it won't be relay. Um, tell Okay, we're probably, you know, we just have to find just the right um, consonant to put in front. And then I think we could, could, could nail this thing. It could be S. What kind of S words are we looking at? Um, selon, that would be French. That means according to, um, but I don't think that would be a wise guess. So let's move on. Del. Hmm. It's not Delta. We've had it, and of course we don't have the A. Hmm. Oh, I have a good one. What about melon? We had lemon, but I don't think we had its anagram, melon. Did we get melon in three? Yes, perfect. Wow, so... That's kind of cool. I was, I felt not hopeless, but I sort of felt like, ah, you know, Bell was pretty good. We got them positioned and there weren't any extra E's or L's, but I thought there would be so many to go through. You guys can let me know. Um, but maybe it did come more or less down to Melon and just a couple others, but you know, Melon is a pretty straightforward guess. So there you have it, guys. I'm delighted with that result. Hope you guys did equally well for those who are participating in my uh, color challenge. And there you have it. Uh, what are we going to start with tomorrow? We have to move on to I. And guess what? Another awesome word selected by Melanie. Ivory. Yes, ivory. Um, right, which is a tone of white. So we are definitely going to do ivory tomorrow. Um, that's got a super cool word. And um, there you have it, guys. So I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of A Wordle. What's up, everybody? It's time for strands. This is always feast or famine for me. I either get it or I don't. Let's see what's in store for Friday, June 7. Uh, sorority signs. Sorority signs. Oh, so these have got to be Greek letters. Let's immediately see. We've got the Greek alphabet. Please let that be correct. Um, oh, no. Greek alma mater. Mm, 
Okay. That's interesting. Okay. I, I, I think we've got Greek. Hmm. It's Greek something. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, boy. Um, no, guys, I did not belong to a sorority when I was in college. I didn't even belong to a fraternity. Um, I sort of prefer just um, the good old dormitory life. Um, so, but I do think we've got this. It's just frustrating because they, they kind of tangled it up there and it just doesn't quite do like Greek alphabet, but that, that's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're basically just having a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of um, Greek letters. So here's your, uh, let's see, so here's your delta, right? Um, and then below that, I see sigma. I see epsilon. Okay, so let's see here. So delta, sigma, epsilon is down here. Um, oh, is it just Greek letters? Did I overlook? Okay, ah, I'm so stupid. Greek letters. Yep. Okay, perfect. Nice. Alpha, kappa. I'm really good with the Greek alphabet. Why? Because when you do math, guys, it uses tons and tons and tons of Greek letters because you ran out of the uh, traditional um, 26 letter English alphabet very quickly uh, when you do math. Okay, so sigma, delta, very cool puzzle. This was definitely good for me. Gamma, and of course, beta. Bingo, boom. Okay, very happy with that. It's funny, isn't it? The weird things that make sense to art, but yeah, that was absolutely, absolutely beyond delightful. Uh, it's just a shame that I kind of mucked it up in the beginning and didn't think of Greek letters. I was doing silly stuff like Greek alphabet and Greek alma mater, um, which would have been cute as well. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Strins. What's up, guys? Here we go. This is going to be Connections for Friday, June 7. Do not go anywhere. It's not clickbait. I'm going to explain to you how on earth did, get, did art get busted by the New York Times. So stick around. It's going to be a very cool update no matter what. Um, and uh, you will find out exactly what happened. But first, let's find out what's going to happen with art today. We've got coat, sweep, imagine, wipe, brush, picture, layer, conceive, okay, develop, skin, program, hack, film, flick, code, envision. There we go. You can imagine something, picture it, conceive it, envision it. These would all be ways of um, conjuring something. Dream up, okay? I think conjures a pretty close synonym. That was pretty easy. Okay, let's move on to the harder, uh, the harder stuff. You can code. You can hack. Doesn't quite go any further. Uh, but you, uh, but you can program. You can code. You can hack. And you can develop. Oh yes, this is, these are, um, what we're gonna call this is gonna be, um, basically if you add an ER, you've got a, a programming, you've got like a, a software, software developer, software programmer, software coder, software hacker. Perfect, verbs for a software engineer, okay? I just turned them into the nouns, nice. Um, okay, so it's funny, I think just like yesterday, we've got the, uh, the interior of the puzzle to deal with. And, and the greens can be, even them can be very, very tricky for me. So we're, we are not out of the woods yet, guys. You can flick something off your shoulder. You can brush it off. You can sweep it off. And you can wipe it off. This would just be to, um, to remove in kind of like a quick action. Okay. And perfect. And and now we've got green, but this can be hard for me. A layer, a skin, a film, and a coat. Oh, this would all be like a protective covering. Okay, boom, done. Wow, okay. That was great. I, everybody's going to do amazing today. Uh, everybody's going to do amazing today. I have no doubt. That was uh, definitely one of the easier ones. Trust me, guys. If I can do it in about two or three minutes, you guys are going to be totally fine. Now, what on earth is going on? What's going on here, guys? Okay, so first off. 
Uh, as some of you know, you've been um, very patient. We uh, finished off the April uh, Connections Challenge, and uh, we decided to take a break for the, for a little bit. So May and June are going to be a break. And at some point, we may revisit the um, competitions, okay? But I owe a lot of people some uh, prizes from April. Um, and, and I also owe two folks from March, okay? So there's a total of about 16 people. And I wanted to do something different because some of you, I think, are getting a little bit bored of those mugs, even though they're pretty cool. Uh, we, the last thing you want is like a, connect, a collection of connection mugs, right? So I came up with this brand new design. Guys, look at this thing, okay? Look at this amazing thing that you guys could hang up uh, in your office, in your bedroom, uh, above your fireplace, you name it. Uh, it is a brand new design I came up with. And rather than using the um, colors, you know, the little rainbow for connections when you're done the way I have in the past, I decided just to create a fun connections puzzle. So it'd be a little bit of kind of like a, kind of like an icebreaker when you have people over at the house, just something to kind of play with, something to think about, keep them entertained for a little bit. Okay. Well, guess what? Here's the problem. Um, no sooner than I submit that to the company that I use to uh, create these little uh, prizes, they come back and say, sorry, Arthur, uh, we're going to refund your money and uh, we have to abort this project. And I'm like, what? The good news is they actually responded to my email. And I said, what's going on? Why? So they basically said that um, that design is copyright protected by the New York Times. And I said, well, is there anything that I could do to just change it so that it's not in violation of the New York Times copyright? And so this character from the company that I use responds back and says, hi, Arthur. Um, thank you for contacting our customer care. The image is a screenshot taken from the New York Times, so we would be unable to approve any versions of this. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Well, guess what, guys? I did not take a screenshot of that. In fact, that's a unique connections puzzle. Um, and, you know, for those of you who decide to pause on the picture, have fun with it. It's a good one. Um, and I think you can see what the overarching theme is for all the categories. So um, I was extremely disappointed because, you know, even just something, a simple little graphic like that, which I did completely from scratch, uh, does take a lot of time. And all that work seems like it got flushed down the toilet. So um, we're not in trouble, okay? But we did get busted because apparently New York Times has some algorithms out there that are pre preventing people from, you know, um, maybe making merchandise or something. But it's not like I'm selling these. If anything, I'm buying them. And sh shipping them off to you guys who, um, you know, were in the top 10 from April. So what I would love would be some suggestions on perhaps what I could do to that design so that I'm sure it's going through some sort of an AI uh, image analyzer where it says, oh, okay, unfortunately, this image matches exactly with some online images uh, related to connections. Um, so, yeah, but the words themselves are unique. I mean, can they, can I be in trouble just for copywriting? I mean... For, for coming up with my own connections puzzle? I don't get it. I mean, here we are on YouTube and every day I'm using their, you know, copyrighted material. And I never got a warning through YouTube from New York Times, but I am getting it obviously through this company that I work with. So any suggestions guys on how I could alter the image, even though he says there's not much I can do, um, I would appreciate it. Of course, we could just go back to the standard image like you see here, where I come up with the clever little titles for each of the categories, you know, like connections, winner, um, April 2024. But I just was thinking it gets a little bit boring, right? We hate getting bored, guys. I'm all about trying to keep things um, fresh and novel, you name it. So uh, suggestions would be um, more than welcome because I would love to get these out. And I was so disappointed because ah, it was going to come on June 12th. And then, yeah, two hours later, uh, we get the uh, alarm bell. And uh, no, so unfortunately that project is going to get scrapped and we'll have to start from scratch. And yeah, some suggestions would be fantastic, guys. What could we do so that we could dodge any, um, you know, copyright protected issues related to connections in the New York Times? That's the question. That's the answer I'm looking for in the comments. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.